What is up guys, it's Control Delicious and welcome to my top 10 most annoying video game characters. At number 10, we have one that you might have predicted, Mr. Rossetti. Now this is a guy who can psychically or with some mystical powers tell when you quit without saving or that you've reset your game and every time he pops up and gives you an incredibly long speech about it. And he's been in every Animal Crossing game. But it's gotten to the point where in the most recent one that came out on the 3DS, they had to make it optional that he was there and you had to pay in-game money to have him be there because, well there are various reasons for this, but one of them being he pissed people off, another being he scared small children. So that is why he's earned his spot at number 10 on the most annoying characters of video games. <laughs> At number 9 we have Tingle, and he has been in many of the Legend of Zelda games. The gameplay in this one is from Majora's Mask, which personally for me he was a little bit less annoying in, but for a lot of the games he was in he became annoying not necessarily the first couple times, I mean some people find him inherently annoying. For me I think he's a little bit charming, but after the first couple times in all the games where you have to talk to him and deal with the whole drama and everything. After having to do it so many times, he gets very annoying, especially for impatient people like myself. So that is why he is number 9 on my personal list of the most annoying characters in video games. Now at number 8 we have Peach, who is pretty much the source for Mario's adventures in almost every single game that he's been in. And basically what happens every single time is that she gets captured by Bowser and basically held hostage until our fat little plumber comes to the rescue. Now, there is some debate saying that she and Bowser actually got a thing going on, but if that's the case, she should at least let Mario know that she's not interested so he doesn't have to go through this crap every single game. And if she is interested and that's all just, you know, fan fans making stuff up, she should try at least once to not get captured by Bowser. I mean, come on. Poor, this poor guy, Mario, can't even put his feet up for a second and she, Peach cannot step out the door without getting kidnapped. And it's pretty annoying. I, I know a lot of people disagree with this, but to me, that is one of the most annoying things in video games. Next up is your rival in Pokemon. He's, or she, has basically appeared in every single Pokemon game as part of the Pokemon formula. And part of the reason that they are annoying is, for people new to the series, you sort of go and you say, Oh, I'm going to have someone who can be my friend and we can go through this journey, this epic quest to fill our Pokédex together. But no, they have to get in the way while you're on your way fighting real enemies and real trainers. They have to get in the way and try to defeat you at every turn. And it's quite annoying. And I wouldn't have minded it if it had been a few games, but it's literally been in pretty much every single Pokemon game to date. And the fact that partially it's, you know, annoying to have to fight the same person, but also that the same formula and the same thing has been redone so many times gets very repetitive and annoying. So that is why this is number 7. Now while we're on the topic of Pokemon, Number 6 is going to be something that is related to Pokemon that appears in the Super Smash Bros. series, uh, particularly Melee for me, but it was in all of them. One of the pickups that you can get is a Pokeball, and when you throw it, you get a random Pokemon who helps you out in beating your enemies in this awesome game. This is definitely one of my favorite game series of all time, but I am always the guy to pick up a Pokeball and get stuck with Goldeen, who literally serves zero purpose. He just flops around and then disappears like a dickhole and wastes your time and probably responsible for your death because you can't get a good Pokemon to help you out. <sighs> and I always seem to be the one that gets stuck with him while my friends get, I don't know, Charizard or something that instant kills me and then I try to rebuke them with freaking Goldeen and it never works. Never! That is why Goldeen is number 6. Next up we have Roman from GTA 4, which is also a game that I really enjoyed. I'm a huge fan of the GTA series, 
but this guy is notorious for being annoying in this game. Not only because when we start out the game, he basically ends up having lied to us about the Wonderland that we're coming to and we get stuck in his shitty apartment, but also because during the game we have to save his ass multiple times. He's basically a dick to everyone and causes us a lot of trouble and is constantly calling us asking to go play darts, to go to a bar, to go to a strip club, whatever. The first few times I can take it, but after that, after ignoring your calls so many times, why don't you get the hint, Roman? I don't want to hang out with you. No darts. No darts. Please. Where's Barbara with big titties and Stephanie who sucks like a vacuum? What are you talking about? Next up, we've got the Survivors from the Dead Rising series. These guys, at least for me, epitomize the whole struggle with gamers and having companion quests where you've got to protect someone while getting them somewhere. And those all pretty much suck, but these for me are some of the worst that I can remember. Because these survivors, I mean, you would think, it would stand to reason that during a zombie apocalypse, you would have some sort of survival skills and you would, you would at least try to not die. Well, if you think that, you are wrong, especially in this game with the survivors, because they almost go out of their way to die and to get detected by these zombies and to just make your life a pain in the ass for trying to save them. So I think that, like many others, I ended up just deciding, screw it, I'll let them die. I can kill them later once they become zombies. That is why they are on the most annoying character list. Clocking in at number 3, we have Slippy Toad from Star Fox, especially Star Fox 64 because this is the game that I played the most out of the Star Fox series as a kid, and I remember being my awesome Star Fox self, getting into epic battles, and then having a member of my team who's supposed to be, you know, this reliable supporter and this smart tech person, or Toad I guess, and just, oh, you're in the middle of some epic mission a quest even and then slippy toad chimes in with something ah, like this I'm hit. and then your entire goal gets screwed over and all you have to do and all you can do really is try to save his stupid butt and it sounds like a standard saving quest but it happens so often you would think that at some point he would learn to not be such a bullet magnet but no that is why slippy toad is number three I know y'all saw this one coming from a mile away. At number two, we have Navi from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, at first, Navi is kind of cute and very helpful for people who are new to the game. And she teaches you how to do stuff, how to basically survive. But eventually, the hey, listen, hey, listen. You just, you just want to strangle her or whip out a shotgun or something and just, ugh, right to her fairy body and, oh, just blood and the gore and just kill her. Hey, listen! Oh. Now, at number one, we have the dog from Duck Hunt. This was probably pretty predictable for a lot of you who've done your research on the top 10 most annoying video game characters or something similar to that. And the reason for this is that this is a classic game that a lot of people loved. It's definitely one of the earliest games that I'm sure inspired a lot more and I remember playing this you know both in arcades and at home eventually and at first you know the dog whatever he's there but once you start missing he has the audacity to laugh at you and at first you're like oh it's a little cute addition right he's just a chuckling no he is a pain in your ass and the only thing you, you start to you start to like the ducks and you want to team up with them to go and kill him and then revive him and kill him again and revive him and kill him again Anyway guys, that was my top 10 list for the most annoying video game characters ever. I will be having more video game related top 10s on my channel at some point in the future, probably near future. I hope that you enjoyed this list, even if you didn't agree with them, you were able to find some, I don't know, entertainment out of it. Uh, if you did agree, let me know. If you didn't agree, let me know who you think is the most annoying character. I'm sure there are a lot that I missed. I know there are a lot I missed, but I had to cut it down, unfortunately, to a top 10, and these are the ones I chose. 
So anyway, thank you very much guys for watching, much love, I do hope if you are new to my channel that you'll check out some of my other stuff and stay tuned to see my future videos, and yeah, that's it guys, see you next time.